When President Obama leaves office in January 2017, he'll be just 56 and a half years young, with at least two whole decades of productive working years ahead of him. He'll also have the best perspective on the approaches that are and are not working in our communities. I think he needs to put that wealth of knowledge to good use immediately by creating a non-profit organization, for now let's call it the Obama Center, that focuses on strengthening our cities by identifying the ideas that are working best around the country and the world and then compelling elected officials at the state and local level to adopt versions of these ideas. For example, a police department in California might have a really effective technique for implementing body cameras. A university in Florida could have conducted a study showing the success of a new teaching technique. An urban farmer in New York City may have developed an ultra-efficient, high-density hydroponic food growing system. Or a town in West Virginia could have figured out an effective approach for providing free health and dental care to the rural poor. Using his vast network of personal connections, B.O. would hire a team based on whichever city he and the First Lady settle in. They would identify a number of core issues to work on, like increasing high school graduation rates, reducing gun violence, tackling obesity, and maximizing the effectiveness of law enforcement's ability to handle cybercrime or the racial divide in their communities. And then the cities that are doing the best at tackling each particular issue would be identified with the help of a small group of the best qualified experts from around the country who would eventually come together for a few days to dive deeply into the issue and come up with a general blueprint for success. Now I know they aren't going to be able to offer a one-size-fits-all solution and their plans probably won't be perfect, but it will go a long way toward helping to provide a higher standard. With the analysis step complete and having hired teams to start centers in cities across the country, the Obama Center would disseminate this blueprint to these local centers so the staff on the ground can create an approach tailored to the needs of their specific city. And then they'd bring together the city's decision makers and local experts on that issue to present the center's findings to those individuals who are capable of working together to enact changes in practice and policy to do the job better. As the Obama Center makes progress on an issue, Positive developments can be shared on social and traditional media to foster a spirit of productive competition that increases awareness and momentum nationwide. President Obama and his team have already been doing a lot of this work by putting together task forces and summits, but stretched thin by the many commitments of the Oval Office and restricted by Washington politics, the President can only do so much to help good ideas spread. But once out of office, Obama can roll up his sleeves and tackle a lot of the things he couldn't before by applying the principles of community organizing to enact coordinated change on a grand scale at the grassroots level. And he can still travel the country speaking at events to raise awareness and highlight progress. The Obama Center could work in partnership with local colleges to get the most out of the money raised by the center while helping to maximize the efficient use of the resources of a college campus, like building spaces that go unused a good amount of the time, especially in the evenings. And these centers should serve as more than just workplaces for staff members and meeting places for academics and politicians. Lecture halls and auditoriums can be used to invite the public to hear presentations and talks, watch important film and video screenings, and meet to discuss issues big and small. Since the central aim of the Obama Center would be to strengthen American society, it should serve a dual role by taking on a problem that's sort of the elephant in the room in our modern society. As participation in organized religion continues to decline, there's a real need for a non-religiously affiliated alternative where people can experience a sense of community, a place to go to hear explorations of the moral issues of the day, and, of course, experience some soulful music. To feel like we're part of something bigger than ourselves without getting preached to and pressured to become a member of a church. Obama is in a unique position to lead this effort. It's kind of an unspoken aspect of why we love him. Because he's America's first pastor in chief. But his doors are open to all, regardless of what God we do or don't worship. Obama could hand pick a leader in each city to not only oversee the local center in its political activism work I talked about earlier, but also to lead those who come to its weekly services celebrating humanity. And Barack Obama is one of the most successful fundraisers in the whole world. 
so he could easily convince philanthropists like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates to donate the few hundred million dollars or so it would take to launch this project in the 50 or so biggest cities across America, and then, hopefully, grow from there. Well, that's my idea. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, like and share it to help others find and join the conversation. For TDC, aka the Dedicated Citizens, I'm Bryce Plank. Thanks for watching.